Ha. Hey everyone, Hassan here, and I got another review for you today. This is uh, kind of aside from the usual reviews. I've done a couple of iPhone case reviews in the past. I've done one for the OtterBox commuter and the Incipio frequency cases for the iPhone 5. But now I have the Cameo case for the iPhone 5 and 5S from Sketch. Uh, so Sketch uh, contacted me to try and uh, review this product, so I did get this from Sketch to review. And uh, I just wanted to kind of show you the packaging first. And here it is, as you can see. It says Sketch on it. It's got two back panels. So there's this kind of uh, little camo back panel, and then there's a black one as well. And there's a little QR code. I guess you can scan if you want more information. So check that out right there. Uh, but this is the Cameo. It says for iPhone 5, but uh, the uh, little description of the case that I got said 5S as well. Triple layer protection. Uh, the back says Cameo Protection has a new face. So it has different types of materials, three materials that it is built with. There's a, a stiff polycarbonate frame, then there's the shock absorbent EVA foam back panel, and then a flexible TPE injection over mold interior. I don't know what a lot of that stuff means, but uh, we'll open it up and take a look at exactly, you know, how, uh, what, what the difference in materials there. Uh, what's nice about this little packaging is you can kind of open it up and you can kind of see the case a bit more. So you can see the little frame right there, and you have the, uh, the other black um, panel right there. So it does come with the case, cleaning cloth, screen guard, and extra back panel. So let's open this up and take a look. All right, so here we have it. We have the case out of the packaging here, and here's my iPhone. I'll kind of show you how it, how it fits on uh, in just a second. Um, so a couple things. It does come with the screen protector, which I did not use uh, just because I'm not a big fan of screen protectors, but um, I did kind of take a look at it a little bit, and it's it's a pretty standard size screen protector. I know it's kind of hard to see with the white background. Uh, pretty standard size screen protector there. Um, the uh, little cutouts, you know, if I were to kind of line it up with the phone, you'd see how that looks and everything. So pretty standard stuff right there. Um, the, the little the packaging, nothing kind of says that there's anything specific about the, the screen protector, but just know that it does come with one. So if you did want a screen protector, you do get one with a case and of course the cleaning cloth and all that stuff that comes with it. Um, so here is kind of the one of the main um, parts of the case right there. And it's uh it's it's two pieces. So you know you have kind of I'll take this out. You have your main frame right here. So this is you know the frame. And this is actually the main weight of the case, and it really doesn't weigh much at all. This case really is very light overall. Uh, this I mean obviously this is not going to equate to much weight either, but this just kind of fits in right there, and that's that. Um, so what, what's nice about this is there's a nice soft background on here, so it kind of, I guess it kind of cushions the phone. I don't know how much it really necessarily will help, but I guess, you know, maybe it will. Um, so it kind of has a bit of a cushion there. And then you have the back, uh, which has the camo design and um, kind of a, a bit of a, it's, it's smooth, but with lots of little dots on here. I, I don't know what word to kind of use to, to to describe it, I guess. It says, there's, by the way, there's a water splash resistant coating apparently on here. Um, I haven't tested it because I don't want to mess it up or anything, but um, that's that's uh, what they say. So it's, um yeah, it's very interesting. It almost, it feels like, kind of like a, oh man, I don't know what kind of material to really even equate this to. But you'll see the little kind of makes a scratching sound a little. But it's uh, it feels pretty soft and definitely um, yeah, feels you know pretty nice I guess. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the camo you know there, but at least there there's another back there. But I'll, I'll kind of show you what this looks like. Um, so the way that this works is you put this piece in first. So I will kind of slide that in like so. So it doesn't clip in or anything. It just kind of sits there, but it won't fall out if you just if you connect if you put in the phone like it, as is. It, it won't uh, you won't have any issues there. Um, so I will kind of uh, slide that in, and there you go. So you'll see. I mean, the, the little back piece is in there. It's not going to come out or anything. So no worries about that. Even if you were to open this up, it's not going to pop out or anything. So uh, no issues there. And uh, yeah, it's got a very minimal kind of look to it, just a little border around. <coughs> Excuse me. Just a little border kind of around the phone there. 
on the sides. Um, these buttons are pretty easily accessible. The, the volume mute switch as well, um, no issues there. Um, this is uh, pretty good as well. Um, I did have one slight issue with the, the headphone thing, like uh, on one of the adapters I had, but um, I remember having an issue with that adapter on another iPhone case as well, so I think that just adapter is pretty big. On your standard uh, headphone connector, I just have a splitter right here, um, it works perfectly fine, so you'll see no issues there with, with getting headphone things. So I think you'll pretty much be fine on most normal um, headphone jacks right there. Um, you'd have space for the, the cable. Um, it, the case is compatible with the Apple Lightning to 30 pin adapter as well. I don't have one of those to, to test it, but um, they say that there. And then the back you can see um, as well. Now, I, I do wish that, you know, there was more protection there. Um, a little bit like I wish maybe it kind of went up a little bit higher I, I, I don't know if they did that to, to help like not block any of the flash or something uh, But that's just one minor little thing there um, The uh, oh the the top button is very easily accessible actually, maybe It doesn't even feel like there's anything on it. So you can click it very easily there um, And yeah, no issues. I mean it, it you know, it feels all right in the hand um, Not too bad this material, uh, it's alright to me personally. I'm not too big on it. Um, some people may like the feel of it, but, um, you know, maybe you can kind of see up close to get a bit of an idea of the type of material it is. So, uh, yeah, it's okay to me. But, what I actually really like about this case is the other back. So the inside of it's the same, but this part here is very, like, a, almost like a soft, rubbery kind of a material. So it kind of is a bit of a cushion like you can't really I don't know it's so thin but it but it, it has a nice kind of a cushiony feel to it so I'll show you you can just easily pop off the uh, the case right there oops I don't want to accidentally open up some emails or something right now and this thing just pops right out like so so pretty easy and then you can just pop in the new back to the case right there again pretty easy and in goes the phone. The set, I, you know, I wish they would sell like separate backs and stuff to this. I don't. I, I tried to look on their website and I couldn't find any. Um, so I don't know if just uh, you have to buy like you know a case and it comes with multiple of these or something. You know, I'm not quite sure. But at least from what I could find. Um, I, I couldn't see anything separate, but there it is right there. And, uh, yeah, so this kind of looks, to me personally, better, because I, I just like the plain kind of, I think the black looks nice and sleek. Um, and this looks, it looks pretty cool, and it actually, it feels really nice. It, it has a, you know, um, um, a nice feel to it. Now, because it's so smooth, it almost doesn't have a bit of a grip, and, and, and sometimes when I picked up my phone, it's kind of slid in my hand a little bit. But I, I don't know if that might be just because the phone feels kind of light. Um, because the case is so lightweight, um, but it, it does feel kind of, you know, durable enough. At least it feels like there'd be some sort of um, uh, shock, you know, resistance right there to, to kind of help. And and it does say that the um, the back panel um, has, you know, is shock absorbent. So they, they did try and, and build it to, to have that kind of a material. Um, and, uh, yeah, so it definitely... Um, Feels pretty nice, though, and and I've been using it the past few days, and as you can see, all my fingerprints on this thing. Um, hey, I'll use a little included little cleaning cloth. There we go. So yeah, I mean, it, it definitely. Uh, I've been using the past few days, and I actually really like it. Uh, I actually, um, you know, I'm, I'm a fan of this case. I, I think it's uh, it's definitely pretty pretty handy. I you know I like the option to switch between the two backs. Personally, I don't think I would use this back here, but other people might. Um, but uh, I, I do like this one. I do think it's uh, it's it's pretty nice. So I probably will use this as my um, main case, at least for now. And uh, yeah, it's definitely pretty cool. So uh, they do mention, I'll kind of mention a couple things. The inside of the frame is made of a shock absorbent TPU. I'm not sure what that is, but it cushions the phone as well as the raised outer rim to protect the screen. So as you can see, like if I were to set this down, the screen is not touching the table. It's it's slightly because the the rim is kind of raised a little bit above the glass, so that kind of protects it a little bit there. Um, 
And the sides of the case are made of a hard yet bendable polycarbonate material, so it provides a sturdy structure for your phone. Um, so that's what uh, what they included in a little description there. And uh, yeah, so overall, um, I think this is definitely um, an, an interesting case. So the, the price that they list is $29.99. Uh, you may be able to find it, you know, a bit cheaper, like somewhere else or something, but um, it's pretty standard price, maybe five to ten dollars more expensive than some of the other cases out there. But at the same time, you kind of have almost, you know, you have two separate backs there, so you do have extra options there as well. So that slightly higher price is is kind of justified there. Um, but that is that. That is the Cameo uh, case by Sketch for the iPhone 5 and 5S. Uh, so thank you to Cameo for for providing the set for review. Um, I have been using it the past few days and I'm liking it, so um, there's that. So if you guys have any questions, please post them in the comments below and I'll try and answer them for you. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and see you guys later.